right, we back once again. Another interview, D28, Reclaiming the Throne event. This has been an awesome event. Um, and we're here with one of the co-founders and the producer and the writer himself, Hallelujah. Morris Musha Williams. Hallelujah. Uh, man, it's awesome just to be able to sit down and, and interview you, man. It's an honor. It's a privilege to be able to sit down and, and really kind of pick your brain for a quick second. Um, you know, this has been a, a excellent time of just being able to have something available for our people to, to hold and okay. and to behold and to see right. themselves and not only see themselves, but where they came from, their oh, actual yeah. lineage right. and trace it down. So what was your initial mindset coming in um, you know, as far as just even the the whole idea of putting something together on film and being able to present it to a body. Well, when you when I begin to look at um, us as a people, right, and who is telling our story, it's a few quotes that's out there that the victor controls the narrative. Mm. So yeah. if we are in a nation where we are considered. Um, less than, right, the mm -hmm. bottom of civilization, and those that are above us desire to control our narrative, then um, it was my mindset and um, working with um, um, Joshua Cullens too, for us to take back control of our narrative so we can have the, r the right perspective. Mm -hmm. Because whoever controls the narrative can control the destiny of a people. That's right. When you look at it from that perspective, that means that we have to bring the imagery and put it back in our hands and control the narrative. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there's another quote that says that history is a web of lies that have been agreed upon. Mm. So if we are rediscovering our history, it's, a, it's important for us to go and bring the truth about who we are and control our own narrative. Therefore, it will give us the ability to change the perception of who we are, that would change the perception of why we exist, mm -hmm. that would give us a sense of significance in the earth. Because if somebody else controls our narrative, they would control who we are and our perception. Because whoever controls your perceptions controls your destiny. That's right. So that's why it's imperative for us through these movies, through D28 production, is putting the the steering wheel back in our hands for mm -hmm. us to raise the awareness of a people's nobility, even though they didn't been through 400 years of oppression and showing mm -hmm. that we can raise out of this and who we originally are so our future can be brighter and so we can establish the things that we was originally called to do. So know. that was a, a lot of the focus of it, putting the narrative back in the right people's hands so we can really reclaim the throne. Hallelujah, and that's exactly what you guys did, man. That's it. Even seeing this movie and the directions that you guys took, the the stuff that you pulled out, the evidence that right. you pulled out. Um, and one thing I like about it, it's so practical. Right. Where somebody can take themselves like, man, I'm, that's me. I right. can I can see myself having attributes of a, of a King Dawood. I can see myself having attributes of the Daughters of Zion, right. of some of the... the, the the stere not the stereotypes, but some of the characteristics that they may have uh, from the scriptures, from the detailing of a scripture, I can see that now. Right. And so, and that's powerful because once you see yourself, it automatically gives you some sense of belonging. Right. Because now you know this is where I come from. Right. That's why, you know, even having a connection with family is so important. Right. Because now you don't have to take what mama said because everybody was so connected, you can go right down the street, grandma, great grandmama house. They'll give you some of the oral traditions that right. we develop as families. Right. And so now we can go back to the scriptures and seeing the same thing. Mm. And so it's very, like you said, it's very important that we have that steering wheel back. Right. So now we can make the right decisions. Right. Now we can, we, you know, because we are free now. You're free to make the right decisions mm -hmm. when you have uh, all the cars that have been put out on the table. So even in your, because um, of course the the, the film man, um, the way you pulled out all of these historians mm -hmm. and some of the things that they said and some of the quotes that they had was very powerful because it showed how what they were saying. Mm -hmm. This was from the horse's mouth. Right. That's what they were saying. Right. Not only about the who the people were, but who the people were not as well. Right. And also saying, 
like you said, about about the web of lies. Mm -hmm. Or if you tell a lie long enough and consistent enough and loud enough, it'll become true. It'll become true. And so that's what we're going into. But even in that, what was your mindset even coming up with that kind of pattern of finding those historians, mm -hmm. finding why find those quotes? Why right. find those things to utilize uh, to validate who the people are? Well, when you look at the the way we think now, right, um, there's so much lies and deception out there now that you can't just tell a person something and they believe mm -hmm. it at face value, mm -hmm. right? So it's important, um, even in the court of law, they look for eyewitness accounts. Mm -hmm. who, who was there on the scene of the crime? Yeah. Who, who can tell the specifics at that particular time, on that particular day, based on what happened, rather than somebody that 20 to 30 to 40 days later speaking about yeah. it. So that's the same thing that we see that the imperative aspect of us going and finding the actual quotes and the explorers and the different ones that was there at that time that mm -hmm. only spoke, uh, spoke truth about what they saw. Because I rather believe what a person saw and what they experienced because of what they written down than somebody just telling me something. Correct. So we know with our people, that's another thing with our people, that if it comes from us as a black people, mm. because of where we see ourselves in society, going back to uh, the perception of who we are, it's low. Mm -hmm. We're going to always believe somebody that might be of a, another ethnicity because that what has been established in this nation, Facts. right? You have, you have to have some type of pedigree behind your name, some type of mm -hmm. PD, I mean, uh, PhD behind your name, yeah. some type of master's uh, degree behind the name. And with us, it ain't, just like, it ain't just that, but the perception is if you're not a, of a European color, mm -hmm. then we can't believe what you're saying. Correct. So this is why we put in the movie, in the videos, quote after quote after quote, so people can see we don't have an agenda behind what we're saying. Correct, correct. Right? And we actually look at what was going on at that time to even seek the truth of that time. So the reality of the truth, because it ain't just about going into history trying to find uh, something that relates to your, uh, your presumption mm -hmm. based on what you're trying to prove, but it's the facts of going into the history and just seeing what is true. Mm -hmm. Because like it's like what the scripture says that the truth uh, and you shall know the truth mm -hmm. and the truth shall set you, free. set you free. But the problem is if we don't uh, expose the lie that first have us hostage, how can we know what the truth is? Correct. So Correct. our goal and our focus is in order to expose the lie, right? Because when the lie is all that is known, then the truth becomes what? Unconceivable. Mm -hmm. So now we have to show them facts upon facts upon facts, people that was there at the time, people that experienced what we was talking about, because we're talking about two to three to four hundred and almost to a thousand years of misinformation, yeah. right? That was mm -hmm. given to us. Because you come from a people that it was said that we couldn't read. Why would they want to do that? Yeah. It was said that we couldn't study. We couldn't go into history. Why would they want to do that? Mm -hmm. Because they are they was creating the lies in their textbooks and going to put it in schools for us to read, for us to have test scores on their lie. Their lies. <laughs> for us to graduate based on their lie. Yeah. And and turning them as the victor. When you have that much lies fed in you, it becomes a truth of conviction to you. Mm. And the only thing that can come in and cut that lie is the truth. Mm. But sometimes it's truth over time and sometimes it's fact upon fact in which you leave a person where he has no wiggle room to get out. Yeah. He has his face with exact truth in his face and either you submit to it or you decide I'm going to stay in the lie on purpose. Mm. And that's the problem. And that's sad. That's just, that, you're right. That, 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 especially with evidence upon evidence, even though, you know, like we were talking about before, Knowledge with increased knowledge, it all also increased sorrow right. because you have right. the information, you have the way out, you have the key. So that becomes a problem, and you just out there telling people what is what, mm -hmm. not only trying to just give them the basis, but getting them to look at it for themselves. Right. Because when you look at it for yourself, you start to really see who you are. Right. Because really it, it go back to 
No man can teach you anything. Mm. You only learn based off what you teach yourself. I can bring out the principles, I can bring out the facts, and you can listen to me. But a man convinced against his mind is of the still, of the, a man convinced against his will is of the same mindset still. still. Mm -hmm. So if I'm looking at the information and I reject it through my will, that's me rejecting the ability to learn the truth and for the truth to be able to affect because truth gonna always send you down the direction. Yeah. Because of that direction is freedom from the lie. But if I sit here and I don't take in the knowledge. This is why mm -hmm. no man can deceive you. You only deceive yourself deceive when you yourself. decide to believe a lie Correct. or when you decide to believe the truth. So when I watch a documentary and I'm hearing what it says, I'm learning it and I'm taking it in. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? I'm training and teaching myself. And this is how my heart opens to it. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So we have to get this. We can't just be looking at stuff and not actually embracing it and taking it in or going on our own search in mm -hmm. order to make sure what we've been what we're being taught is the truth. So through our search is where we teach ourselves and where it becomes a reality where nobody can talk us out of that that ain't did the work. Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Yes sir. Well man, hey, that's what this film has done. Oh, yeah. So last thing I'm gonna ask you about. So today, today, being a movie, seeing how does it feel to be a part of such a groundbreaking um uh, event, mm. you know, where we were able to bring people in, uh, show them this film, mm. show them who they were, um, uh, allow them to experience even some of the culture. Mm. You know, how does how does that feel just to say, man, it's done, it's out? Mm. You know what I mean? It's Right. Honestly, I really haven't taken in everything to know how it feels a hundred percent. Because a lot of times in the moment you don't know. Nobody ever knows a hundred percent when they're doing things that is gonna be generational. Yeah. Right, that's going to uh, supersede thousands and thousands of uh, years down the line, just like the prophets. They didn't know that the things by them getting together and the stuff that they was doing for Israel, how impactful it would be to our generation. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know that today was epic. And what I seen, I know today was beautiful to see all of us come looking like royalty, man. Yeah. It's, it made me feel like we was going back to Jerusalem. Uh, back through the tabernacles of Dau, back where um, the temple and the palace and everything was built, mm -hmm. it was like a foreshadow of us yeah, returning to the to the land, welcoming Yahushua, and He's reigning in the kingdom. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, I don't know how to completely feel. I know it was amazing. I know it was powerful, but I know it's going to speak greater than the day. Mm. I know it's going to be something down the line that we are part of that we can't see the reality of it right now. But down the line, our kids may speak of that reality. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, or this was the, because we don't know that today might have been the turning point in a lot of people's life that we'll never meet them again, mm. that everything in their life then changed. Therefore, their generation going to yeah, change. Their yeah. bloodline going to change. Yeah. Some stuff was sealed in people. How mm. can I feel the effects of that not knowing that? So that's mm. why I don't know completely how to feel. Gotcha. But I embrace the reality of me hoping that this thing go for future generations that down the line, my grandkids, grandkids talk about this, if mm. the kingdom be here then or even greater than then, or greater than that. So it was powerful. It was awesome to see all our people come for one cause, for one direction, and to push a movie that's gonna go all over the world. Yeah, You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I felt like we reclaimed the throne, but I can't get the full reality of that into future generations. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, man, you heard it from the from the horse's mouth. You know what I mean? It's been an honor and Appreciate a privilege uh, interviewing you, man. I'm yeah. proud of you. Hey, I'm man, proud of the, uh, the work you're doing. And, we out uh, here. <laughs> just keep on pushing, man. Yeah, keep on pushing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I appreciate man. you, my man. <laughs>